Hello, um, we're going to be doing metabolic pathways in this particular PowerPoint. So what is a metabolic pathway? Well, a metabolic pathway is um, a series of chemical reactions where you go from one chemical, a starting chemical, to a product that um, the organism needs. And this particular um, type of chemical reaction is controlled by enzymes at every step. And it can be very simple where it's just one thing into another thing, um, like that one. Or it can be a series of chemical reactions with a series of steps, and each step being controlled by an enzyme. So you start off with your substrate, your starting chemical, and it's converted into an intermediate form, which is then converted into another intermediate form, which is then converted into a final product. And each of these steps, every time it's converted from one thing into another thing, that's controlled by an enzyme. So there, there, and there. And they can be simple, like these two, which are linear metabolic pathways, or they can be a little bit more complicated, like this one, where it's branched. So you start with a starting point, you go to an intermediate, and one form of the enzyme is going to make one kind of product, and another form of the enzyme would make a different product. Or they can be cyclical um, um, metabolic pathways where you start off at the point <coughs> that's converted into one form of the intermediate, into another one, into another one. Often a byproduct is formed, for example, maybe carbon dioxide or water or something like that, and then um, continues in a cycle, basically repeating over and over again, making lots and lots of the product. Right. Next. Right. So here we go. We've got a simple linear version of a metabolic pathway to explain a few things. Now, here we have the situation where we have a uh, colorless substrate, so that's our starting chemical. And if only that chemical is present, then the organism will end up being white. Um, the first step is controlled by this enzyme. En we, I've named it enzyme A. And that converts this colorless substrate into an intermediate chemical, which is also white. So if only this chemical is made, then the organism still stays white. And then the last step in this metabolic pathway is controlled by enzyme B. And its job is to convert that intermediate substance into the final product. And that final product results in the black pigmentation of a rabbit. So if the metabolic pathway is completed, then the phenotype of the organism will be black. Right, now I'm going to refer back to the central dogma of um, biology uh, genetics um, for a little bit to explain a few things about how this relates to the phenotype of an organism. Because if you change the gene, if there's a change in the sequence of the gene, that will change the enzyme and that may render it non-functional or it functions in a different way, which means that that enzyme no longer makes one of the products in the chain and that has impact on the phenotype of the organism. So, here we have a situation. We've got a homologous pair of chromosomes here and another homologous pair of chromosomes here. On each chromosome, we have the genes which make the enzyme. So, this particular genotype, big A, big A, big B, big B, there we go, big A, big A, big B, big B, because we've got big A's, it means we can make enzyme big A. And because we've got big B's, we can make enzyme big B. So that means that we start off with our starting um, chemical. We have enzyme A, so that means that that enzyme can do its job and convert it into this intermediate form. And because we've got big B, it means we can have enzyme big B, which means that that enzyme can do its job and convert that intermediate into this final product, which will result in a rabbit with these particular alleles being black. Right, let's change the situation. 
here we go. We've got a different genotype here. These are homologous pair of chromosomes, and we've got big A, little a, as the alleles carried on these chromosomes. And we've got big B and little b carried on the other pair of chromosomes. And again, in this situation, we've got a big A and we've got a big A. So that means that we can still make enzyme A, which means that we can still convert this chemical into this chemical. And because we've still got big B, means we still can make enzyme big B, which means that we can still convert that chemical into that chemical, which means that an organism carrying these alleles will have the black phenotype. Right, let's change it up a little bit. Again, we have a homologous pair of chromosomes. We got big A, big A this time. And we got another homologous pair of chromosomes carrying these genes, little b, little b. Now, we've still got big A's there, so that means that we can still make enzyme big A. So that means that we can still turn that chemical into that chemical. But we've only got little b's here, which means that we can't make enzyme big B anymore. We can't make that enzyme anymore because that enzyme is no longer present it means that there's nothing to turn that chemical into that chemical. So it means at this point here, the chain is broken. The metabolic pathway cannot continue beyond that point because the enzyme doesn't exist, which means that we can't make the black product, which means that we end up with a white rabbit. Okay, here's a second situation. We got little a, little a this time on this pair of chromosomes. And we got big B, big B on that pair of chromosomes. So, because we've only got little a's, it means we cannot make enzyme A, which means that there is nothing, there's no enzyme available to convert that into that. So we have none of this stuff, none of it, none available. So it means that even though we have a big B, and we can make enzyme big B. Enzyme big B has nothing to work with. It has no raw materials to use to convert into the final product. It's kind of like uh, you're coming to school, you've got no books, and you've got no pens, and so on. So it means that you've got no raw materials to actually get any work done in the classroom. It's the same with this enzyme. This enzyme has nothing to work with, no materials to actually convert into this. So that enzyme basically sits around doing nothing because it doesn't have anything to work on. So that means that we can't get any black final product. So even though we've still got enzyme B, we're stuck at this point. We can't get to here and we can't even get to here. So it means that we're stuck with a colorless substrate which results in a white rabbit. Thank you.